Hey, it's Skulls. I'm back again with another Bleach Brief Souls video. And today I kind of want to just go over on who you should prioritize transcending and the link slotting. Because there's just a whole abundance of characters. And I know that it can be overwhelming for people to figure out who should be first. As you can see, I do have a good selection of my characters link slotted. But I'm still missing out on a lot of characters, which I mean to work on it. My, my goal is to link slot all my characters to at least level 10. So they're, they're all orange, you know, I don't look like a pleb. But then there's that beyond with Transcendence, T15, and T20. So I do have my own little philosophy for this. You know, it's not just, okay, uh, meta, 6th anniversary Aizen, uh, Spirits are forever with you, Retsu. T20, I'm max transcend, you know? That's, that's not what I go by. I go by more on my special move level. So here, are these guys are level 5. That means they have all their transcendent slots open up. And they have like, this final stat. These kinds of characters are the ones that I'd prioritize T20 on. So here for my Byakuya, for example, he's not meta. I just chose him because he's a Blood War character, he's cool, and I have him um, 5 out of 5. Altogether, that's a good mixture on how you can decide on who to T20. But what about T15? Because that's also another iffy subject. The way I go about T15 is... The characters, you know, that are not 5 out of 5. Because it's not really worth going that extra grind if they're not going to be reaching their maximum potential. Uh, what's a good example for this? Uh, Kisuke, for example. I don't have him 5 out of 5, but I use him a lot for farming. So I gave him level 10 attack. And then, you know, you get the stat bonus from 50, 50, 50. But then also give him the bonus ability of crystal and jewel drop. Because I use him a lot for farming. He's really good for farming. So just that little bonus really helps him out. He's a way overkill when you're farming, so it's not really necessary to give him a bonus ability that, you know, gives him more damage. But just extra, extra job is really nice. And then you have the characters right here as well, Sinjimaru and the Now. Uh, I just thought they were cool characters. I wanted to do showcases on them, so that's kind of why. Uh, I guess that's also a way you could also sort it out, is by doing it only on characters that you like. You know, if you don't like some of the meta characters, you don't really have to. I mean, you might struggle with some content, but I guess the main point of this game is to have fun. When I first started off Link Slotting my characters, I made it a challenge for me to Link Slot my Blood War characters first. Because, you know... They were usually like the better variants of everyone, better than like premium freeze battle type characters. But then they also included Camp Around the World and Spirits of Forever with You, so then it got kind of complicated. But I mean, it's still not too much to handle. Like, you see all these characters I have from all the collaborations. So, that could also be another way you could do it is do like special collab characters first and then work your way towards. The premium type characters but then there's also another way attribute for me i get a heck ton of technique potions like this is the easiest attribute for me to farm and as you can see i have abundant of these guys link slotted okay yeah these guys are not the side but yeah up here see i have a lot compared to um i think power and speed are my worst let's see here Barely any, even though this attribute has a lot of good characters. Uh, let's take a look at power to start fun of it. Yeah, power is even shorter. You could have, like, Riruka farm technique potions, but you don't have any other of the Link Drop characters. So now it would just be much harder to farm for these potions. So I just wanted to make this quick video about this. Uh, I think I covered everything that I wanted to. So to sum it up, uh, if they're 5 out of 5, they're your favorite character, or like one of the special collaboration, novel, blood war type characters, 
should definitely go for those first and then just branch off from there because really at the end of the day it's whatever makes this game fun for you and that what makes this game fun for me because i know some of you questioned like whoa you've been playing since 2017 how do you have the motive to keep playing and I tell myself, I still have a lot of content to go through because I have all these characters that I haven't link slotted yet. Alright, that's it. Um, see y'all in the next video.